Kurt Hildebrand, Head of Research and Development for TerraFlex, Terra Manufacturing out of Salt Lake City. So this is 2011 JK. Uh, this vehicle is set with a new pre-runner kit from TerraFlex. The kit is designed to basically be a desert type uh, recreational vehicle. Uh, it's made to smooth out uh, a fast run with the JK. We're going to take a stock um, JK, put just the pre-runner kit on it, and we're going to take a little run with it. The reason for the suspension and the design difference is it's a TerraFlex long arm kit with um, up travel of 8 inches, down travel of 3, so we have an 11 inch travel kit. And the idea is to uh, basically keep the center of gravity low on the vehicle, so it handles, and the other is to let you do just this. I mean, we, we want you to go out and have fun in the desert, but we want you to be able to drive the vehicle home. So we're going to smooth this baby out. The vehicle's making it smoother than it is, and that's the whole idea behind control, is to have something that handles um, the rough sections and keep the vehicle in control. Um, this, this is basically a modified long arm TerraFlex, like I said. This is using a brand new um, shock from Fox, an aluminum bodied reservoir shock for cooling. And we're using the patented speed bumps from TerraFlex. And they're a microcellular bump that basically works in place of like an air bump. And it keeps the vehicle totally quiet. Here's the microcellular bump that's in here. This is a three inch travel. Um, they're completely dry cylinders. They are made of Delrin um, plastic as far as the shaft and the bushing surface goes. They're dry, they are made to be maintenance free. Once they're in, they'll run the duration. Uh, Fox's new aluminum um, reservoir shock, brand new item out this year. Uh, we have a specific valving and a body length that we use for the pre-runner kit to get 11 inches of travel on a three inch lift, 35 inch tires. We've all seen aftermarket differentials. We've seen a lot of accessories come out that basically chase the, um, the problems that the JKs have, the bent axles, everything like this. Uh, this vehicle is running totally stock, not a braced front differential, uh, nothing braced on the rear. It simply is running the suspension kit. The design of this kit is to honestly uh, smooth out the harshness of a ride and to take the um, damaging effects to a degree off of the vehicle. So we're not adding anything to this vehicle but the actual suspension kit right now to prove a point that, um, that the vehicle can withstand this kind of driving and uh, remain undamaged. Limiting straps, um, hardware, specialty hardware that you do see in the off-road and the desert stuff and, and it's all in the pre-runner package. I mean it is a complete package. You buy it by one single part number and this is what you get right here. It, it's make it fun to drive. If you want to call it competitive or it can be competitive, that's your choice as to how you set your vehicle up and obviously like anything else. But the idea behind this is to make an enjoyable, fun vehicle, um, still make it very rock crawlable. It does everything our other long arm kit does. It just simply can get it. Limiting straps, the hardware, um, standard long arm suspension kit up front of TerraFlex. We haven't even spilled our sodas yet. No, no, no. I haven't scared you yet. It's, uh, it feels, you know, just like uh, we're gonna run down this draw and, and just kind of uh, enjoy ourselves. Yeah, at a high rate of speed. Yeah. That's what we like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, everybody likes a higher rate of speed. <laughs> there is fun and speed, and, and, uh, and we all have it inside of us. Uh, the only thing we want to do is you know, we want to make it safe. We want to make it feel like it's not, uh, it's scary. You know, we don't, we want to take that out of it. We're scooting pretty good right now. Yeah. How fast are we going? Is there just going to run uh, Yeah, we're getting, we're, we're running between 50 and 60 in the draws. Uh, we're cornering, you know, 25, 30 mile an hour, depending on what's coming up on us. And uh, we're being careful, looking out for people coming at us too. Busy weekend. I wish I had had the suspension in the JK we used to pre-run the ball. It would have been a lot more fun. And, and that's a good point. I'm glad you brought that up. We, um, with, uh, with the help of uh, Off-Road Warehouse in California, we actually put one of the prototype kits on and John and I ran 300 and some miles of the um, Baja 1000 last fall with this exact kit on that you're fit, that you're fit shocks, everything. Really? Um, just not a single brake. Uh, that's, uh, we were still valving a type of shock for it and that was the only thing new that we have is we do have a set shock for it now. Uh, that back then we were just um, valving and trying to figure out what we wanted.
But we did pre-run some of the Baja with it. Terraflex long arm kit in the front is used for the upper and lower arms. In the rear, we have a straight arm change out and the standard upper arm that comes with a long arm Terraflex kit. And this is to get the 11 inches of travel and keep the center of gravity low on the vehicle. What do you think of the ride? Honestly, I think it's really smooth. And smooth is fast. Yeah. I mean, there's... Smooth is in control. Yeah, smooth is in control and smooth is fast. What we all know about setups is you can go fast when you have the right suspension in there, right? And that's that's a very good point. It helped the street handling because it gave us a little firmer control on the street. And we actually have a lot of our standard long arm kits that are um, looking at these shocks, that we sell these shocks in place of other shocks just because of the handling characteristics on the street. So, um, so twofold, it's not like this is an off-road only kit by any means. Uh, Terraflex is big on the Cadillac ride and the durability of the componentry, and so we're after a kit that works. The change to the pre-runner kit is that, like the cylinder that is in the front, a joust tube, there is one built into the frame. We sell the bracket, the welding bracket, and the housing to go in and, and put the uh, three inch travel speed bump in the rear also. Limiting straps on the rear, stock drive shafts, 35 inch travel, um, low center of gravity, good handle. We were actually testing um, the shocks and the suspension on the two door and four door and except for the short wheelbase being obviously a quicker to control and that kind of thing, we actually couldn't tell the difference from the driver's seat. They have a lot of the same characteristics, even with the weight difference of the vehicle. Hang on. And now we're going to run, instead of going fast, we'll, do, we'll let the speed bumps. And, and, and what, what I mean by speed bump is the shock valving isn't going to really help at this speed hitting um, bigger moguls. And we're going to slow down so that it has to ride on the foam, the microcellular foam. There's no noise to them, but they can absorb the weight of the vehicle. And so if we wanted to um, ride and drive like this, this is very easy on the vehicle. We're not damaging the vehicle. We're moving around. We're doing about 11, 12 mile an hour. And we're just letting it actually try to bottom. And it won't do it. It has not bottomed. No, no it will not bottom. It will ride on the phone, but it will not bottom. And it makes no noise. It makes no noise. There's no clicking. There's no banging. There's nothing. 